Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is based on Overwatch. In the game, every character has their own unique ultimate ability. Hanzo's ultimate is the Dragon Strike, in which he summons two dragons that move forward while hitting opponents. My goal for this project is to try and build a similar effect using Unity. So here are the steps I needed to follow to recreate the Dragon Strike. Implement a first person shooter controller that I can shoot an arrow with. Work on the Dragon Summon and movement. And add some shaders for the Dragon Dissolve and Portal animation. I started off by importing Unity's standard asset to the project and adding the FPS controller prefab to my scene. I downloaded 3D models of Hanzo's bow by Bakker and Hanzo's arrow by Beyond Matter from Sketchfab and attached them to my player. Then I did a simple script that added force to the arrow and then started a coroutine that waited some time before actually showing up the dragon. So I headed over again to Sketchfab to download this 3D model of a Chinese dragon by Yu Miao Miao. I had to do some adaptations on the 3D model, so I've used Maya to open it up and remove the legs from the dragon. When the dragon model was ready to go, I created a prefab that was an empty game object with a dragon as a child. So on the main script, I simply instantiate that prefab. And to make the dragon move, I simply create a script for it that adds to its forward position. In order to make the dragon dissolve while showing up, I needed to create a shader for it. So I downloaded the shader graph example project from Unity that has a bunch of examples of shaders created using shader graph. On that project, there's a very cool dissolve example. So I used the same graph structure on my project. But instead of pulling the direction information from the green channel, which is vertical, I get the direction from the blue channel, which is forward. To add a bit of color glow to the model, I add a Fresnel node multiplied by a color node and connect it all to the emission property. I headed back to the shader graph example project and found the shader that adds distortion to a static model in order to make it look like it's moving up and down. I adapted the same structure from that shader graph to my project. I struggled a little bit to understand how to set up the graph so that the model could also move horizontally like the game, but then I found out that the whole vertical movement was being based on a sine node. So I tried adding horizontal movement using a cosine node and it turned out just like I wanted. At this point, I was able to duplicate the dragons and add a time offset property to the shader so that the dragons could rotate one after the other. To create the same effect from the portal in which both dragons come out from, I had an incredible help from the Twitter user Harry Alizavakis. He is super good and he even has a blog where he writes cool stuff about shader development, so you should check him out. Basically, he helped me set up a shader graph that moves the UV from the material diagonally with a noise texture while making it transparent. So I created a model on Maya and applied the material with the shader to it. For some polish, I added a trail renderer to the arrow and some particles for when it leaves the bow. I added more particles for when the arrow summons the dragon like the stretch lines, the smoke, and the shining circle glow. Finally, I added some post-processing like bloom, chromatic aberration, and some color grading. And after a bit of adjustments, this is how it turned out. As always, the link for the project's repository is on the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't. Feel free to reach me out on my Twitter if you have any questions. Until the next one.